Hey guys, we're talking to you from Warsaw, Poland. Obviously, I'm with the one and only Mr. Troy Francis. And with us is a gentleman that we're going to refer to as Mr. J. And he came out to do a few sessions with us. And we're just going to recount his experience and why he came out and how he overall found the experience to be. So, uh, Mr. J, obviously, pleasure to be working with you uh maybe to start off give a quick background in terms of not in detail but where you're from and maybe describe a little bit what your dating life has been in the past six months to a year hi everyone i was mr i'm mr j and i was from asia and i am in a relationship right now for like uh years and i don't really i didn't really approach any women to be fair um, before coming to Poland <coughs> and I got um, how did you meet women before how did you meet their, your relationship before through social circle friends or as for, for social circle friends okay, yeah. yeah and yep. I did one not an, not an approach but um, like meeting a, a girl in a class and I, it took me a very it's like very difficult for me to actually go and say hello to her like she, because she well she's from Hong Kong as well and it is I don't know why it's, it should be an easy task but it turns out it's very difficult actually so I found that I can't be like that so I wanted to join a boot camp actually um, so to improve my code approach and and in overall like social skills so that's why I'm, I'm here absolutely man and um Obviously, we did some some daytime stuff. And we also did some nighttime stuff because we were at the club the other night. And uh, man, I mean, you really, you know, you've really come on a long way over the over the few days. You know, really smashing it. Really, just I mean, because the place we were in in the evening was quite high end, wasn't it? Slightly intimidating. You know, some yeah. very high end people, some very beautiful girls, and quite sort of high value guys as well. But you really got stuck in, and uh, you know, you were getting into conversations, getting into interactions. I mean, how would you say that your confidence with this stuff has improved over the time of the boot camp? Um, yeah, I, I find myself like, um, when it comes to the first few days of doing cold approach, I think like, it's, I find out it, I can, I'm able to do that. I'm ma I managed to do that actually, but it's because of my self-limiting beliefs. And with the coaches here, like Mr. M, uh, push me fair, uh, like push me hard to like force me to do approaches, and then I find that it's not that big of a deal actually. It's mm. Day game is actually uh, not that hard, to be fair. So in terms of like the conversation, of course I need some time to actually be more playful or like teasy, uh, teasing in the in the in the ch when chatting with women. But um, I got the kickoff started, and it's it's great. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So how did you, um, after the first few, because what happens, a lot of guys who maybe have not had much code approach experience in the beginning, they don't realize how receptive girls can be. So after you bit, you started out doing a few approaches, getting some good reactions, how has your view changed now in terms of code approaching during the day, interacting with girls, kind of going forward? Uh, does that excite you knowing that, for the most part, girls love to be approached and they're actually really receptive to it? Uh, surprisingly, I got a, I, I, in my, in my opinion, is a very, it was very good results. Actually, I, <coughs> it's like every girls are quite receptive when I just, I'm, even though I'm a beginner, I'm actually, I was sort of actually, I, I was actually nervous and they are, they, are, they were receptive. Like, um, they, I, I feel like I made their days, uh, which is good. And like in terms of the social anxiety, I think that it exists. It wouldn't. It wouldn't like go away. It will be here. But what improves is actually that the bravery, like the courage, to actually go up to the girl. Um, yeah. So I mean, how do, how can I add on? Um, I mean, the consistency is important. Is Im important in I in my opinion, and. I need. I think I have to be more like do more practice on on the daily lives, like to be achieving the social freedom. Um, so, uh, two part question, Mr. J, to kind of end it. Um, one is you're a fairly young guy, so kudos to you. Like you're getting into this at a very young age. So after having done this experience. 
how do you plan moving forward to incorporate it in your daily life? Does it excite you? Like, are you going to be traveling more with it? That's one. And then number two is, would you recommend anybody watching, whatever age they are, whatever situation they are, after do doing this, would you recommend anybody uh, to take up on some training if they've been thinking about it for the last year or so? Uh, for the first question is, uh, how do I move, like, move it? Plan yeah, plan to do that. Yeah. Um, so, because I am a student, I'm ready to be graduated, but um, still a student, so I might go to the campus to actually do some social, like, be more socially calibrated to actually <coughs> open up some student as well. And I think it would be a very easy task now after mm. the cold approaching. Yeah. And I would also be like traveling more. I think um, because day game is what is good about day game is that you go to anywhere and then yep. you won't see the girl again. And then, but if you open her, open up her, the, the rewards will be massive, and it is very it is very good for day for people to do day game because of this. And the second question is about. The would you if anybody's watching and they want they're thinking about taking up on some training would you recommend this experience to anybody who's kind of contemplating getting some training or not yeah definitely i think um before the boot camp i actually considered for a long long time yeah um it takes a huge uh <laughs> balls to come because um obviously um people are like are mainly Europeans or Americans are doing this um, training and I'm uh, Asian with a con in a conservative culture so <clears throat> it really takes a huge courage to come and but at the end it is a great experience it's fantastic I will say so I mean everyone should consider to do that if you want to add to some training or improvements on your code approach or whatever social skills uh, in your daily life so I think yeah uh, 10 out of 10 recommends it. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Well, listen, um, I've just got to say on my behalf, uh, pleasure working with you, man, and really good to see you, uh, you know, sort of growing and becoming more confident over the weekend. And, you know, you're a decent looking guy. You've got everything's going, you know, you've got some obviously intelligent, articulate, um, and really you just need that little push to, to sort of get in there with the social stuff. So you're definitely going to smash it with this. And I look forward to seeing your development going forward, man. Yeah, me too. All right, guys, and obviously, if you want a similar experience, get in touch. Details down below. Again, talking to you from Warsaw, Poland. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.